Boy, this is something, and not in a good way. According to the Bureau of Indian Affairs, homicide is one of the top 10 causes of death for Native American females under the age of 45. Native American women experience the second highest rate of homicide in the year 2020. But there are efforts to stop it right here in Oklahoma. Join me and First Fidelity Bank as we pay it forward. You've likely seen the handprints. It's our ancestors or those that have gone on, red is the only color they can see. Usually painted across the mouth, it is a symbol of solidarity with missing and murdered indigenous women. More than four in five American Indian and Alaska Native women have experienced violence in their lifetime. We put ourselves in their shoes. Shoes they hope no one ever has to walk a mile in. Rochelle Redbone's devotion to missing and murdered indigenous women is something she comes by naturally. Her mother is one of the co-founders of the grassroots organization's Anadarko chapter. And through, for the trauma, the tragedy. She's right there, boots on the ground. She's always there, you know, and to help anybody. She works with the MMIW, and anytime that a loved one comes up missing, she's right there. Roseanne George met Rochelle through their shared dedication. For our people, for our community, she has a heart. She has the compassion for these families, for these victims. And that's why Roseanne nominated Rochelle for Pay It Forward. She thinks I'm bringing her her sweater. Her favorite sweater. It's clear to see why. On this day, Rochelle is working at the YWCA in Oklahoma City. John Simcox with First Fidelity Bank. You have done so much for the community, and clearly you have done a lot to impact people's hearts, tears of joy, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you, you've really shown it. So from First Fidelity Bank, we have $400 to pay it forward to you. So here we go, if you put your hand out, we got one, two, three, four hundred dollars for everything you've done for our community. Oh, I nominated you because you're an amazing person and your strength, it encourages me, it keeps me strong, it keeps me going. And I want you to know that everything that you do, it does not go unnoticed. Thank you. Thank oh, you thank so you. <laughs> Oftentimes, people who volunteer or work with victims of violence have gone through it at some point in their lives, too. <laughs> Though that's not Rochelle's case, she does it anyway. Because somebody's got to do it, but the work needs to be done. This year was our 10 years advocacy and awareness that we've been established and been working not just in the area of the Southwest region, there in Darko, but across the state of Oklahoma. And I have my mother to thank for that. And the hope that one day, violence against indigenous women and girls will be no more. A lot of good work. If you'd like to get involved or help with MMIW efforts, we have a couple of ways to do that on our website. Just look for this story on KFOR.com.